halfway through January still feels like the new year, though, so that means resolutions for many. We hear all about the ones for fitness, but the second most common topic is money. Adam Young knows all about it. He's the area manager for Everwise Credit Union. Thanks for being with us again. I'm excited to be here. Thanks, well, Scott. We are, too, because you can give us some tips on how to, how to hang on to what we hope. You know, you can go into the year and go, I'm going to do this. But getting it done is another thing altogether. It, should it be a step-by-step -step approach? Is there, is there a perfect way to make sure what you want to do with your money actually happens by the end of the year? When it comes to somebody's money, the, the biggest kind of uh, phrase that I use for most is you got to know where you are to know where you're going. And okay. when it comes to the new year, what better time to really think about your money and approach than right now? And so identifying where every dollar is and identifying where every where each of those dollars goes is really the most important thing. Well, the thing that slaps you in the face is either when you get in the mail that bill or if you're doing it online, when you get that email that says, oh, the credit card debt we incurred in January and in December and in November, of course, spending for the holidays can really put you in a hole. Give us some, some credit card thought, thought. Yeah, so when it comes to your credit card debt, it really comes into your overall budget mm -hmm. because we have to identify a lot of the needs and where our money goes on a given month and the, and the credit card payment is very vital to that flow of your money. And so, um, when you look back at kind of some of the decisions that you made, maybe you did put some things on some credit card debt, to really save money in the new year, there's impact to think about that and to pay off some of that debt mm -hmm. and, and really kind of position yourself for any other future things that are coming down for the year of 2024. Last thing you want to do is float it and float it and float it. And That's then right. you get November of this year and December of this year. Oh, I still got last January still on And, and, and honestly, we, during this past uh, year, we, we saw people do that from 2022 to 2023. So yeah. again, now is the time to really consider those things, pay off some of those things from the behind, and then get prepared for the new year, which got, is exciting. Got into some COVID spending spending habits that haven't quite shaken out completely That's yet. That's right. Uh, we've talked, uh, as, uh, as Wish TV is Indiana's education station, about the FAFSA and other things that families with college kiddos or kiddos who want to train in the, uh, in the trades need to do in terms of getting money available for them seems to be a good time to think about that as well. Absolutely. When it comes to kind of that higher education preparedness, you know, whether it's college or, or vocational, whatever it is that you're preparing for, I think the key to that is identifying what do those costs look like today? Right. Um, knowing where those costs line today and then kind of having some assumption that the costs will go up, you can prepare which best financial vehicle to kind of store some money to side to prepare for those college expenses or trade school type things in the future. One, one mistake that we made when we were looking really sort of at the last minute types of things for my son. We, we thought we'd well prepared. Yeah. Realized that we were using a model from an article that was written 15 years ago and the the numbers have changed completely. So you mentioned, make sure this is something that's very hip and very current. Absolutely, and I think that's just very vital, but identifying again where every single dollar that you have going and you can prepare with that budget or cash flow assessment for those future thoughts, but really focusing in on the needs that you have today is very important to any financial journey that a person's going down. To bring us back to the start of the conversation, it's great to jump in in January and say, I'm gonna do this, but then how do you, track it through the course of the year to make sure you stay on your mark? I would say that the biggest way with anybody that's going down any kind of financial journey similar to your weight loss journey, you got to do it every day. You got to understand where every dollar is going and I think that's the key to, to, to finding that success but a, an avenue to really kind of look at um, as you go down the line it, it is really your, your net worth. So you can kind of follow to say is the things that I'm doing right now mm -hmm. fundamentally working to the goals that I have set for myself and that's a vehicle that you can kind of use to kind of illustrate that to prove to yourself that you're working. Well, maybe a very Here's a mid-year wellness check from uh, from Adam. Thanks for being here with us today. Hey, thank to, you so much to for having me. Get into the resolution, and maybe we'll follow this through the course of the year.